Hey, heathens. All right, thank you for rejoining me here. If you uh, haven't watched part one, you're going to be kind of lost. Go back, check out part one real quick. Um, well, in about 10 minutes. And uh, come back so you can understand what we're talking about. So we're continuing on uh, with the, uh, the ARIS for 2008 where we have surveyed. And here's where we find some interesting things. Now, where are these numbers coming from? Why is this occurring? Why is this shift happening that is favoring the, the nuns, as uh, I will be, <laughs> be calling for the rest of this video? Why are the nuns uh, seeing this growth where the other groups are not? Well, let's, let's pause there and let's talk about the groups that aren't seeing a loss. Um, I mentioned in the last video that the Catholics actually regained just a little bit of ground. The other group that uh, is holding okay right now is the Baptist uh, section of Christians. When you look at it from there, they're, they're holding their own. However, we need to look at um, the overall age demographic. When you separate it by there, you see a very interesting picture. Okay, So check this out. U.S. national population breaks down, if it went broken down this way, 18 to 29 uh, years old, 22% of the population fits that category. 30 to 49 years old, 38% of the, of the population fits that category. 28 fits the 50 to 69 years old, and only 12% is in the 70 plus. Now, if you're going to talk statistics, you would expect to see your balance to be in the same range. Regardless of what percentage of the total population you make up, you should see the same basic lineup in your group if you're going to maintain your uh, current position. Um, and as I said, the Catholics are doing, uh, doing just that. But we can't say the same thing about the Baptists. In fact, let's just go ahead and talk about um, of the groups that are under the national average, the Baptists are the lowest, with only 11% in the 18 to 29 category. But in the last two categories, which are supposed to be 28 and 12, uh, respectively, the Baptists are 37 and 21. What does that mean? That means in the next 20 years, more of them are going to be dying off, and you're going to see them take a severe nosedive. So Baptists, I hate to break this to you, but um, in the next 20 to 30 years, you're going to be losing members. Um, so don't be building any new churches. Just word of advice. Your other Christian groups and other religions groups are uh, seeing a decline in the younger ages and have a higher number in the later ages but not quite as severe as the Baptist, uh, but they're still there, which means they should see, should still see a decline, just not as much of one. The only one that is an exception is the Christian generic category. Again, see the, the, the uh, definitions in the, in the very first part of the last video. You can recap it if you need to. Um, the Christian generic category goes from 25% in the 18 to 29, 41% in the 30 to 49, and then 25 in the 50 to 69, and nine in the 70 plus. So they've actually, that's where people are shifting from your, your mainline Christians, Catholics and Baptists, down to the Christian generic labels. Now, Eastern religions, I talked about in the first video, I said that I didn't like the way that they broke down the Eastern religions because they include Buddhists, which is a non-deity religion, um, in with uh, Hindu, which is a polytheistic uh, religion. Uh, and uh, Buddhists actually make up the biggest percentage of that. With that in mind, the Eastern religions are 37% in 18 to 29, 40% in the 30 to 49, and 20% in the 50 to 69, 3% in the 70 plus. So the 70 plus is only 3% and a huge swing once you break underneath 50. Um, and, and holding their own very strong in the youngest category. So they're going to see a continued rise if that continues. The other big surprise, well, not really a surprise of anyone who's followed these numbers, is that um, Muslims are growing quite a bit. Now, they still make up a small percentage total um, for as far as the United States goes, but a huge boom, 42%. In the 18 to 29 category, 45% in the 30 49. That is the highest as far as um, the percentage within themselves. Um, the other religions and the nuns, uh, you're looking at uh, in the 18 to 29 category, is 24. Uh, 
and 29 respectively, 40 and 41 in the 30 to 49. So you see, again, a big swing, upswing on uh, those two. And again, that's why you're seeing the increase in the popularity. All right, now I'm gonna take you some charts that were done on another website. And I want you to take a look at this. This has to do with the state by state back, uh, breakdown. So you can see where this growth is coming within the country. Because as you all know, I live in the Bible Belt. So take a wild guess which side we're on. Check it out. Okay, so here you see the Catholics in the uh, the yellowy orange color there. That's the that's the Bible Belt. So check it out and see uh, where your growth is. Some a lot of Catholic growth there. Your other areas are dropping down. These are your other Christians, and you can see how bad their drops have been, as well as the other religions. Just a small growth in each of those. Uh, now here's your change in the no religion category with. Vermont and New Hampshire being your top two in that category. Um, lowly little Georgia over here at just a 4% growth between 1990 and 2008. Yeah, tell me about it. Here's a little bit different way that they, uh, they do the look, where they uh, do a comparison between 1990 and 2008, and you can watch the color shift. So you can see uh, the green uh, now your green, that's your uh, that's your northeast. The blue is your midwest. The red is your west, and then of course the yellow orange is your uh, your your Bible Belt category. So what you're looking at here is the no religion section, and you can notice where all the red is. Uh, but when we switch over to 2008, some green creeps into there. So all of a sudden the, the Northeast is jumping in there, whereas uh, Washington uh, was, a, was a, a big time player before. They've dropped down some compared to the other uh, two, but they're still, they're still up there. Uh, when we go to the, the Catholics, you can see all the green that's in there. And when you look at the top four states and you switch to the other, they're right there with just the, you know, the one dropping into the number five spot. Okay, so you know Connecticut sneaking its way back into the top, top four, uh, and this one. When you go to other Christians, there's your Bible Belt. <laughs> yeah, look at that, and not really expecting very much difference there now, are you? When you go from the 1990 to 2008, it's still the Bible Belt, and you see the high 80s as we come on down. Georgia at 86% uh, back in uh, two th uh, back in 90. When we come to 2008, Georgia has actually dropped down into 76%. So uh, I guess that's a positive thing. Okay, I know I got a lot longer winded than I, I wanted to be. Um, I, I thought this would be actually a short video turned into a, a two part 20 minute uh, deal. Apologies for that. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I, I, I could go through st statistics and stuff like this all day long, I, I enjoy them. But just in summary, uh, looks like um, the nuns are steadily on the rise. But don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.